over to you and kind of kick, kick us off. Well, thank you, Mr. Chairman. So <clears throat> obviously we're not voting on anything tonight or anything like that. So it's just a general discussion. Um, shouldn't be anything controversial. Uh, I got a few thoughts about the project. I just wanted to share uh, with, with the council for consideration so we could all go home and think about things a little bit. Um, so there's a couple of reasons I asked for this discussion to be on the agenda tonight, though. Uh, one, the mayor's got a few public presentations coming up uh, in the next couple of weeks, I think, on, uh, on the design of, of the project. So maybe at the end of this discussion, we can give him my opportunity to just talk about what his plans are for presenting that design. So, you know, that, you know, first, first item, that's kind of low-hanging fruit stuff. Um, but mostly, it seems like the, the discussion about the City Hall project keeps creeping into other discussions um, throughout meetings. And I just figured it'd be a good idea to put it, you know, and we try to stay on topic. And so we, we kind of push that discussion of City Hall aside when it comes up in a, you know, a budget meeting or a whatever meeting, we, we kind of push it to the side. So I, I thought it'd be good to put it on, um, on the agenda so we could just talk about it tonight. Um, so with that said, I mean, I just, I just think it'd be a good idea to get get out on the table. Um, you know, one are we are we still all in favor of doing this project or not? Um, clearly, we have a financial forecast coming. We have budget meetings coming up. So from a from a from that standpoint, I'm not looking to get into a budget discussion, but I just thought it'd be a good idea to make sure that we're all on the same page on whether or not the renovation addition project you know, is one that the city should be focusing on undertaking. Um, I'll start the discussion off just by saying, I think it is. Um, my position on it and my thoughts on the project really haven't changed. Uh, I still maintain that buildings have life cycles, they have lifespans. Uh, this building was built in the 1970s. It's 45 something years old and it's, it's is sort of reaching the end of its life cycle and its lifespan in its current configuration. So whether it's this council, the next council, this mayor, the next mayor, the one after it, you know, I still maintain a position. Somebody's going to have to address City Hall for the next 50 years. It can't stay like this. Again, I know we got a forecast coming and we got a lot of decisions to make. We don't really know, you know, whether or not that makes sense to do it in 2024. Does it make sense to do it in 25? Mm -hmm. All discussions, you know, I'm looking forward to when we get the forecast. And But I just think just like we're looking at the seawall and what do we have coming up, you know, to deal with with the seawall, I don't think we can just close our eyes on City Hall. And we made the decision to move forward with this design and engineering of the project together. And just want to make sure we're all on the same page. Mm -hmm. And then number two, as we speak of the seawall, project seawall itself you know we had a great presentation at the last meeting and something struck me about at, at that presentation that I thought was really useful which was the analysis that was done about the cost of doing nothing now the cost of doing something in five years or the cost of doing everything in 20 years and it was a really helpful analysis for me and as I thought about relating it to this project you know, is there a cost of doing nothing now? What is it? You know, I, I think I know that it's not zero, the cost of doing nothing, you know, the, the roof, the air conditioning, the generators and those sorts of things, the, the lack of space, portable buildings at some point. So I just thought it'd be helpful and just food for thought for the council that as we move forward into the budget in the, over the next couple of months, maybe we start to get some information as what is the cost of doing nothing if we leave the building alone? What is the cost of waiting a couple of years? Construction isn't getting any less expensive. I can tell you that. We, we in, in my firm, we, we bid a project in December. It was $84 million. We, they put it out for a rebid, and we just rebid it uh, last week. It was $88 million, so $4 million in six months for the city of New Orleans. So there's a cost of waiting. You know, and if we're going to do, if we're going to go through a budget discussion and make some decisions on when do we do this or do we do this, I think some information about what does it cost to do now, what does it cost to do in, if we wait a couple of years, um, and what does it cost, you know, what it cost if we wait 15 years, 20 years. Uh, I think it'd just be helpful for the council. I just want to throw that out for, for thought. Um, 
and that's really kind of all I had on it. Turn it over. No. If anyone else has some thoughts on it? I think it's, it's good thoughts, for sure. Um, Mayor, I know you want to, you've got, we talk about it often, so kind of keep sure. yourself on some of your thoughts and plans. Yeah, I, I think what Councilman Zuckerman said uh, had a lot of, a lot of good points. Uh, I agree with him on, on a lot of it. Um, let me just start by saying that, that for me, the renovation of City Hall, to me, to Clay Madden, uh, you know, who ran for mayor, uh, it, it kind of reminds me of the Berm project in the sense that it was kind of a project that had been talked about and had been in the capital budget before. And when I became mayor, I just said, you know, we need to kind of update the plans and, you know, get a fresh set of plans. Uh, the, there are a number of citizens that are for it that have told me that when I was on the council and, and, and as mayor. Um, Having said that, though, I, I think one of the best recent decisions we've all made is to do the forecast. I, I, th I think that that decision, uh, I'm really looking forward to it. I think we chose a firm to do it that's going to be a, that has a lot of experience, and it's going to be able to turn it around pretty quickly. Uh, we'll have it in the next couple of weeks. We also, uh, this doesn't get mentioned that often, but um, we asked the attorney general, we, we sent in a formal attorney general's a, opinion request a few weeks ago uh, just about the funding and how that works with with CMAR. Do you have to budget all of it at once uh, to get CMAR? And that that is still outstanding. I, I hope we will have that back in the next month or two. So because the the forecast is being done, the attorney general's uh, question is kind of hanging out there. I, as the mayor, just said, look, we have had an open house to show the plans here at City Hall. Let's take our show on the road. Let's try to get some other. Uh, citizens that might not normally come to a council meeting, uh, let's get their input. So as you said at the beginning of the meeting, Saturday, uh, this Saturday, uh, we're going to go to the Trailhead Market, uh, which is, is an activity that happens every week. And uh, the architect is going to have some nice graphics, and we're going to have little uh, comment cards that, that people can write down, I like this, I don't like that, uh, and put it in the box, and, and those will be considered. And then in a few weeks, we're going to go over to the west side of town and have a, uh, a presentation of City Hall at the, uh, I believe, Pontchartrain Elementary School on a weeknight, you know, kind of after hours. So those are two different venues, two different sides of town, and hopefully we'll get some more feedback. Um, but from a, just a project perspective, um, we have another architectural firm right now working on the design plans for the police station, mm -hmm. and we have a third architectural firm, three different architectural firms, working on a new lab building for public works, which is also needed. Uh, the lab building, when it would be completed, uh, we'd be able to do our water boil advisory testing on site rather than sending it off. So people, if, you, if you've never had a water boil advisory, uh, it probably, you probably not don't care, but if you have and you've waited those three or four days over a weekend, it'd be a lot quicker uh, to be able to test on site. All those three things are needed. Uh, it will cost money. Uh, as Councilman Zuckerman said, there, there is a price to waiting, but I also don't think we can do them all at once. So I think with the forecast and knowing, you know, sort of where we are, it would give us an idea of what do we want to do first? How do we want to budget for it? Do we want to do, you know, explore all options? Uh, is it something we want to do in phases? Maybe we just want to build a new council chambers first, and that's a third of the of the cost, and just and maybe take a pause. Who, who knows? All those options are, are on the table, but I do think if you wait 10 years and it's another mayor and another city council, it's it, it's still going to be a need, and it's going to be a lot more expensive at that point. So they're all, they're all decisions that, that we have to make. Um, not more important than any other project. We're, we're, of course, doing drainage projects, road projects. But I think the people of Mandeville deserve nice facilities. We have outgrown this building. Um, so uh, all of them are important. The police building is, is, is extremely important. You know, citizens don't go in the police uh, building, for, I guess for good reason, uh, as often as they come into City Hall. Uh, but it's needed. You know, it's very much needed. So we have some decisions to make. Um, and, and I, I just think that while we're waiting for the attorney general's opinion and, and the financial forecast, it was a good idea to just have this discussion and, you know, we're all going to work together on this, um, that, you know, it, 
you know, we're, we're trying to get it in front of as many residents as possible. And uh, it's a decision we're all going to make collectively. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, I mean, there's a lot of options on the table that we're going to have in front of us in the next couple of months leading up to the budget. Um, you know, we'll, we'll look at the forecast. We'll look at, at all those things. And so what I was talking about in terms of what's the cost of waiting, yeah, it, you know, one option is clearly you could budget some money just like you would in your own personal life. You could budget some money every year. You know, maybe it's a million dollars in 2024, a million in 2025 and you save for three years, four years, you know, that's an option we have, surely, but there's also a cost with doing that. So, you know, it, does that make sense? I don't know. I, I could tell you um, I worked pre-construction on a large project, um, well over a $100 million project over the last 16 months, and it was constantly over budget. And the more time that we spent in cost savings options and trying to get the budget down, the cost just stayed the same because of cost escalation. So we're getting less and less less and less projects for the same money. So I don't know what those numbers are. I'm just, I wanted to, we hadn't talked about that yet. And I just wanted to throw that in just to get people thinking about it for the next three, four months, five months that we have to go make some of these decisions. That's all. I, think. I guess the only other thing that I would kind of end on, uh, Mr. Chairman, is, um, I just I, I, I feel strongly that because we've engaged these architects on all three buildings that we should let them finish the plans. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm not a engineer, but I've been told I have very good engineers that are working here at the city that have guided me. You know, when you design a when an engineer designs a ditch project or something like that, those plans could could change in the near future. But City Hall, you know, once it's designed, it it's not really going to change in the next 10 years. It's going to show a, a, the need. What will change is the price, but the, the plans themselves will not, not really change. I mean, here, here's, here's the space that's needed. Here's the plans. And so I would just make the point that we've engaged these engineers on all three buildings. Let them finish the design work. And then once we have the designs, then we can make a decision which way we want to move from a budgetary perspective. Yeah.